Hello again, YouTube people. This is Poet WP. Today, I'm going to uh, give you a little more food for thought, while uh, at the same time sharing these uh, old art pieces and uh, cover art from uh, old Mad Magazines. I uh, pick things up, I am a collector, and things, well, things, they tend to accumulate, as the Nine Inch Nails song goes. So yeah, I collect Mad Magazines, especially the political ones. <clears throat> so I'm going to share these pictures of art while I'm giving my speech uh, from the Mad Magazines, to, uh, and then highlight, as a sociologist, the uh, social context that they reflected in the time, and how it also still relates today. For instance, given this picture right here, where have all the statesmen gone? Aren't we all asking ourselves that question right now? I think we are. You know, I urge all of you to call on your senators and congressmen and ask them to do whatever they have to do to end this nightmare at the border. These children need to be liberated from these places that are keeping them in cages and abusing them. And they need to be reunited and given asylum. And the bastards that are keeping them in these cages should be prosecuted. Point number two. When you call your politicians, tell them to get rid of Trump as soon as humanly possible. They have to force him to resign as soon as possible before he completely destroys everything. I mean, if this malignant narcissist piece of shit still has access to the nuclear football, that's just horrifying. Point three. Tell the politicians when you call them, in order to secure the midterm elections and all our elections from now on, they must institute a universal standardized voting system where the voting machine electronically casts your vote and then prints out a paper copy of your recorded, recorded voting ballot then you put that paper ballot into a sealed box not to be opened until the polls close, at which time it's handed to an independent, nonpartisan committee to count up the paper ballots. Then we will have to see how well the paper ballots vote uh, count matches up with the electronic vote count. And if it doesn't match up, they have to figure out why and... Before they determine who is the winner, they have to figure out why, why it doesn't match up before they determine who is the winner and get to the bottom of it uh, to, and determine who is the actual winner if, there are, um, if, the, if the results don't match. Uh, it's the only way to secure our elections. And now I'll share it with you another excellent, one of my favorite covers from April of 1969. Who needs you? Now, the context of this Mad Magazine, it came out in April of 69. That was, pre that it was directly preceding, of course, uh, 68 and 67, which were the bloodiest years of the Vietnam War, where men were still being drafted and sent to war against their will. And uh, as a result of 67 and 68 being the bloodiest years of the war, uh, there was high public opinion it was that we should get out of the damn war, and it was immoral, which it was, of course. So this is a satire of the Uncle Sam recruitment poster, where you have a picture of Uncle. We'd have a picture of Uncle Sam, and it says, "America needs you." Well, this is the satire. Alfred E. Newman is Uncle Sam saying, "Who needs you? Like, who needs the damn government when they send you off to slaughter?" We're asking ourselves that same question once again. Point four, I wish to convey that I hope you will tell the, the Democrats, the Democratic politicians, to go left or get out, because they will be voted out if they don't go left, instead of center-right, which is where the corporate Democrats, led by Nancy Pelosi, are now, are now and they, wanna, they want for the party to remain there, but the progressives are coming and there is, and theirs is the best deal. The Democrats had the slogan, a better deal. Well, the progressives, maybe we need to adopt the slogan, the best deal, because theirs is the best deal. Groups like the Justice Democrats, Our Revolution, and others 
are bringing forth Bernie Sanders supporting progressive candidates and they will win enough to change things within two election cycles or sooner. They will have an, all the leverage they need to truly change things for the better. You watch and see. Now we'll move into another era as they drone on into the 70s. Look at this puppy. 74. The height of the Nixon. Well, I don't know if it's at the height, but it was when, when during the Nixon controversy when he was uh, leading up to his impeachment. If you just look at this, the similarities, the parallels to today are unreal. Of course, they're, they're spoofing The Sting, the film The Sting. Look, check it out. Here's Nixon. Mad salutes the big con. Look what he's got here. Tax returns that he hid. Actual taxes paid. Oh, low amount. Over here we got campaign contributions. Big piles of money. And we got payoffs and ripped envelopes with the money that this dude is paying. Tricky dick, as they used to call him. And then, of course, there's the subpoena from the House of Representatives that Nixon is, is burning. Yeah. A lot of parallels there, my friends. History repeats itself. They wouldn't learn. They didn't listen. So, point five, <clears throat> when you call your politicians, please uh, tell them to support efforts to take the money out of politics so that our representatives will, will be beholden to the people they are elected to serve and not the corporations they are bought off by. Wolf-pack.com, get the money out of politics. The endless dark money has completely killed our democratic republic. It's now an oligarchy run by corporations. Now that Trump's in charge, it's become a fascist oligarchy. Many of these corporations have all the morals and ethics of a parasite. They don't think twice about poisoning babies and whole communities to make higher profits. Flint, Michigan, the Flint, Michigan case proves this. Trump's exposed all the tricks with his, with his malignant narcissism and incompetence. Now I'll bring us into the 80s. Oh my God. Greed, for lack of a better term, is good. The excess of the 80s. It was insane. I was a child of the 80s, of course. I'm in my late 30s now. Uh but yeah, <clears throat> this Mad Magazine, oh my god, it is so the quintessence. The, the, that's not a word. The, the quintessential 80s. Just all this is so 80s. Okay, you got Rambo. Rambo. was 80s was all about Rambo. I loved Rambo when I was a kid. Everybody wanted to be Rambo. Rambo was the shit. Rambo and the movie Commando were my favorite movies. First Blood 1 and 2. I count them as one really chapter. Is anyway, Commando, Rambo, First Blood one and two, and of course the Terminator man, awesome. Here we go, Rambo, Ronald Reagan, Central America, Iran Contra. <laughs> Funny. Of course, the story behind all that, you know, like a few sentences of summation. Uh, for generations, or for decades rather, the CIA has been. Uh, Importing drugs and exporting guns. Uh, that's what that Iran-Contra shit was about. That's at Central America. In the, uh, <clears throat> in the 70s, the CIA imported heroin. Uh, and then uh, in the 80s, cocaine became big. And uh, they started... In, they, in the 70s, they imported heroin from the Golden Triangle out of Asia. Then in the 80s, they moved in on cocaine out of Central America. And that's what all that Iran-Contra shit was about. They were giving them guns in exchange for cocaine. Anyway. I'm such a dork. I even have my uh, original... <laughs> my original Rambo action figure from childhood. <laughs> it's funny. I want what they want. And every other guy who spilled his guts 
and gave everything he had once for our country to love us as much as we love it. <laughs> That's, of course, from the speech at the end of Rambo 2. <clears throat> anyway, the unlimited dark money has allowed corruption to surface that is so bad it's virtually manifested from the pit of hell. For a large segment of the corporations, this unfettered capitalism has given them permission to abandon all moral morals and ethics. It's what I, the sociologist, would say could be characterized as a sort of cutthroat capitalism. Others would say it's a vulture capitalism. The corruption is being exposed now. They will no longer be able to go back to their old wicked ways when this is all over. Trump has ruined it for all of them because of who he is. He's exposed all the hidden holes where the serpents hide. Now they will all be rooted out after Trump is gone, and we will find out how insanely corrupt and treasonous this whole goddamn system really is. And after the serpents have been rooted out and driven off, the progressives will go back and fill all the holes they hid in with concrete from end to end. Now we come on in from the 80s to the modern age of terror. Where we're all supposed to be afraid and never question our government. It's all for the sake of national security. The war is not... It's for your freedom. It's all bullshit. This is funny. This, is, this, this came out. Let's see what year was this. 2001, 2000... It was around 2001, right after 9-11. I can't find a date. 2002. So yeah, okay. You got Alfred E. Newman, press conference. This is supposed to be the press dude for Bush back in the day. As president, or this is supposed to be the president. As president, I urge all Americans to go about their normal lives while he's in a chemical suit. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, and that's the way they want to keep us, in a perpetual state of fear. Sorry, this one's kind of messed up because I spilled a glass of tea on it. Anyway. Yeah, they want to keep us in a perpetual state of fear. So that we'll keep supporting their goddamn fascistic, imperialistic war machine. No, no more of that. The unlimited dark money has allowed corruption to surface. It's, okay, I already read that part. Sorry about that. Next page. The consciousness of the masses has already shifted. And people are awakening. Things can no longer be hidden anymore. The old age of deception, exploitation, pacification, and covert oppression has just ended. The old evil order is now in retrograde. So those who are immoral, unethical, and corrupt are now ice skating uphill. And those of us who are agents of transparency, true equality, justice, and guaranteed dignity as the human right as our human rights as Americans. Those of us who do not concern ourselves with how much profit can be generated at all cost, we rather solely focus on doing whatever must be done in any way to ease suffering and in every way possible to spread compassion. For people such as this, it is now our time. We are speed skating downhill while the wicked are trying to ice skate uphill. Tr the true spirit of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s dream for America will be manifested through progressive political change. Only a fool stands against the will of God. Because as Dr. King said, the arc of mor the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice. Well, it's bending hard now. And all the money in the world is not going to stop it. The movement, the spirit, the truth is too strong, as Cenk Uger says of the Young Turks. In closing, and as is precedent, I'd like to quote another one of my favorite Bob Marley songs, Small Axe. Why boasteth thyself, O evil man, playing smart? But not being clever, you work in iniquity to achieve vanity. But the goodness of Jaja 
endureth forever. So if you are the big tree, we are the small axe, ready to cut you down. Well, shop to cut you down. And whosoever diggeth a pit will fall in. See you next time, guys. Keep the faith.